your loved one's stories might die with them. Today, I want to talk about something that's incredibly important to me personally that often slips through the cracks of our busy lives, capturing the stories of our loved ones, whether it's your parents or your grandparents or maybe even your own stories. There are legacies that future generations will cherish if we can just take the time to record them. Hi, I'm Lisa Lacroix. Welcome back to the channel. If you're here for the first time, an extra special warm welcome to you. Today is a Tuesday talk, and I want to talk about conversations with your loved ones, conversations that matter, recording the stories of our loved ones now before it's too late. Because if you're like most people, if you're like me, in the whirlwind of our everyday lives, the busyness of day-to-day -day living, it's easy for us to forget how quickly time goes by. We're caught up in our businesses and making money and taking care of our families and deadlines and everyday hustle. And because life happens, sometimes it's difficult for us to recognize the constant ticking of time. And before we know it, we may find ourselves wishing we captured those stories and that wisdom, that voice. I know this experience firsthand because in 2016, my mother was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, which is infamous for taking lives quickly. And in those final weeks, I felt this profound need, almost like a panic, to hold on to something of her. I wanted a lock of her hair or an article of clothing or memorabilia. But more than anything, I wanted her stories. I wanted her voice. I wanted her wisdom and any advice she would give me to carry forward in life. And because she knew it was so important to me, she allowed me to record some short audio conversations with her, even though she always felt that she wasn't someone with a lot to say or someone who was particularly comfortable speaking. And while I'm glad to have those recordings, they were not the same conversations that I would have had if we had started sooner, if when we recorded those conversations, she wasn't very near the end of her life. It also reminds me of what I missed out on and what I don't want you to miss out on too. After my mother died, I did an interview for my Superpower You podcast with my then 96-year-old aunt about her experience living during the Second World War in the Japanese-Canadian internment camps. And not too many months after that, she had a stroke and she couldn't speak in a way that was very comprehensible. That is an important moment or moments in time not just for my aunt and not just for my family, but for the world in general. And the people who experience the internment, both in Canada and the U.S., are for the most part now past. And in a very few number of years, there will be no one left from that period of time. And so I'm so happy to have that conversation, and I'm happy to have it published on my podcast so you can listen to it too. So what I've learned from those two experiences is that our loved ones' stories and voices are precious, and they are priceless. They matter, even though we might not think of it when they're most accessible to us. I created a service called Life Legacies in which I interviewed people for their family's future reference for a legacy for them to keep. It was something I was inspired to create because of what I didn't get to have with my mother, a recording of her stories in her voice. I felt I could bring some skills that I had as a professional actor, as a podcaster, and as an interviewer of hundreds of people at this point. I have the freedom as someone who is outside of their everyday life to ask those questions that you might not think to ask around the dinner table. So let this be the sign to you to do it yourself. You don't need me. One of the ways you can do that is as I've been encouraging people to create content and to create a YouTube channel because it's an amazing opportunity to create a legacy and to preserve your stories. But maybe that's not appropriate or possible for your grandparents or for your parents. Get your loved one on a Zoom call ask questions and record those stories in the most basic way, you will be glad you did. To get you started, let me give you some possible suggestions for the types of questions that you could ask. 
You can also go to the link in the comments below to my Life Legacies page and you can get some more information and some inspiration there. But for now, here are some of the kinds of questions that will help you to dig deep and to have those meaningful conversations, to reveal the wisdom of your family members, to discover and hear them tell the stories of their experiences and the emotions of their lives. Consider asking about your loved one's childhood. What was it like? What kind of memories do they have? What life lessons did they learn about from their grandparents or from their parents? And what they most remember about the various stages and chapters that they've lived through. You can ask them about the happiest moment of their life or something they remember that gave them joy. What kind of hobbies they liked? What did they love to do with their time? Maybe some of the challenges that they faced over the course of their lifetime. You could also ask how they were able to overcome those challenges. Maybe something that they feel proud of, something that they accomplished that was meaningful to them. You could also ask them for advice that they would give to their younger self or to future generations and who they've loved in their life, how they met them and what the relationship has taught them. Ask them some of the significant changes they saw over the course of their life and what are the most important values that they've tried to live by. Ask them how they'd like to be remembered by you or by future generations and what legacy they hope to leave behind. You can also ask them some of the more mundane questions that you might be curious about. Things like how tall they were, what was their favorite color or their favorite food. Any conversation you can record will be a life legacy. You may find that in future years, you are so happy to have that record. And even though your children might be too young to be curious or interested about their grandparents or great-grandparents right now, when they're adults themselves, they may be very happy that you took the time to have those conversations. One of the things I asked my mom was for three directives for my future yourself. I said, Mom, please tell me, what are three things that you want me to think about or that I might want to remember? And what my mother told me were very simple things. She said, love each other, be happy, and contribute to the world. And at the time, she felt like it wasn't much that she was offering me. But I will always remember those words, and they are simple directives, but I hold them dear to my heart. So have these conversations because future you will not regret it. Thank you so much for spending the time here with me today. I hope this inspires you to take action as soon as possible because time is ticking. Capture the stories that truly matter, and remember the conversations can be simple, but their impact might be profound. Subscribe to the channel and like, comment, and share anything else that you have for me because I want to hear from you. And the algorithm thinks you might like this video, and here's a playlist that you can also watch. I will see you next time. Thanks for being here. <laughs>